Was Lizzo bullied into losing weight? Does fat shaming work? On August 14th, Lizzo posted a before and after video of herself on her Instagram where she's working out in the gym in one outfit and then the video cut, she's wearing a different outfit and she's doing a similar exercise, but she's clearly lost some weight. I don't know how much, but it's it's visible. It's visible. Let's take a look at the video really quick. I'm not going to play it with sound, um, but it's pretty clear that something has happened here. Sound, but she is doing some kind of row while she's in a lunge. She's got an all black outfit on and then it cuts to her in a purple outfit. Obviously has lost some weight there. You can see the difference. Midsection is smaller. She's looking stronger. Even her face. Look at the difference in her face. Face is starting to slim a little bit. She looks better. Very, very different than what she looked like before. And then in the caption, she wrote, if you're reading this, remember, you can do anything you put your mind to. Stay focused. You got this. And people in the comment section are talking about how she's slaying and she's sticking it to the haters. Somebody wrote, she's going to drop the weight, come back with an album, and y'all ain't going to have shit to say about her. And someone else said, we're going to have skinny Lizzo before GTA 6. I, I may be a grandma, but Auntie Gina doesn't know what GTA 6 is. <laughs> it's, a it's a game. My husband, my, my husband just turned around to say it's a game. Okay, it's a game. Um, <laughs> and then someone else said, I thought she was happy at her weight, question mark. And then somebody else wrote bullying works. Oh, boy, that's what we're going to talk about today, uh, whether bullying works or not. So it's clear. And then you see some of her other videos like she is I mean, she's still large. She she is still overweight, but she's definitely smaller now than she was. And there is some kind of transformation happening right now. Um, and as we know, Lizzo has been the queen of body positivity and fat acceptance. She's always the one who's talking about loving your body as it is and doesn't matter how many roles you have and how much you weigh and what your size is. You're beautiful as you are and you're perfect. And it's really the beauty standards that are just wrong with society. You know, all of these classic feminist talking points about body positivity. But it seems like she's finally taking control of her health which is good. I think this is a good thing. It's nice to see that. I don't know how far she's going to take it. I don't know how much weight she's actually going to lose. But um, it this is this is a good thing, I think. And this all comes after the South Park episode about her. Was that a coincidence? Is this a coincidence? Did South Park bully Lizzo into losing weight? Did they just fat shame her into the gym to where she lost some weight? I don't know. She was mocked in a South Park episode, and I think it, ha it came out in May. It's called South Park, The End of Obesity. And uh, Cartman is on some sort of quest for weight loss medication. And he says he learns his the, the other person was like, oh, did you are you taking Ozempic or Wagovi? And he's like, no, my doctor prescribed me a new medication called Lizzo. And then it was like this fake big pharma commercial about Lizzo and like claiming that 70% of people who took it no longer cared how much they weighed. And it says that makes the users of the drug feel good about their weight. And the voiceover says Lizzo helps you eat everything you want and keep physical activity to a minimum. Some patients report constipation while listening to Lizzo. Stop listening to Lizzo if you experience suicidal thoughts. Serious side effects may include pancreatitis, hypothermia, and literally excreting out your ears. Um, so Lizzo posted a TikTok about this. And this was, I think, again, back in May. Yeah, this is in May. And her, I have to say her reaction is like she took it like a champ. She took it exactly the way that you should take it. Because in a way, if you end up in a South Park episode, like you are a, a part of the cultural conversation, even if they're mocking you. So let's take a look here. I may, I don't know if I'm going to be able to actually play the South Park clip because I might get a copyright strike because the music in the back. But let's at least look at what Lizzo is saying here. Guys, my worst fear has been actualized. I've been referenced in a South Park episode. I'm so scared. I'm gonna blind duet to it right now. There we go. I'm telling you, Sheila, these new drugs are pretty amazing. I was feeling so ashamed of myself, watching Randy go out and exercise all the time and not eating as much. But I just don't have the same kind of willpower he has. Which of the drugs are you on, Sharon? Ozempic, Manjaro? Oh no, I talked to my doctor. He said insurance would only pay for those if I had diabetes. But if you can't afford them, then how are you managing your weight? Don't you know, Sheila? Now there's a whole new obesity drug for those of us who can't afford Ozempic and Manjaro. I've controlled all my cravings to be thinner with Lizzo. <laughs> they approve Lizzo makes you feel good about your weight. 
And it costs 90% less than Ozempic. I've lowered my standards and my expectations. In case studies, 70% of patients on Lizzo no longer cared how much they weighed. I don't give two shits. <laughs> Lizzo helps you eat everything you want and keep physical activity to a minimum. Some patients report constipation while listening to Lizzo. Stop listening to Lizzo if you experience suicidal thoughts. Fucking album! Out your ear. <laughs> Are you living with concerns? Hold on, fast forward. With Lizzo. I just feel like, damn, I'm really that big. I'm really that big. I really showed the world how to love yourself and not give a f to the point where these men in Colorado know who the f I am and put it on their cartoon that's been around for 25 years. I'm really that bitch and I'll show y'all how to not give a f and I'm gonna keep on showing you how to not give a f hey, Come on, that's funny. Her reaction is kind of funny. But coincidentally, a few months after that, here she is now. And she looks pretty because she looks better. She looks better. I mean, like I said before, she's got a while to go because she is still very overweight. But does fat shaming work? I don't know. Maybe that's sort of the question on everyone's mind. Everyone's sharing this video, the before and after. And they're like, hey, maybe it does work to fat shame people. Uh, I don't know. You know, as the years go by, for those of you who are new here, I've been in the fitness industry for over 10 years. I've been training people. I do weight loss programs. I have a women's health group for anyone who wants to come in and improve their life, improve their diet, exercise more, improve their lifestyle habits is what we do. I'll put a link to join the women's group if you want. Um, and I've been training women for a long time on weight loss and fitness. And, you know, as the years have gone on, I think motherhood softens you. I've said this many times before on my channel. I try to be nice. I try to be nice to people who are obese because... I don't know if fat shaming actually works, but our culture, I know this much, our culture wants us to believe that shame is always a bad thing. They want to tell you that sh you should never, ever feel shame about any of your choices. But this is, that's wrong. Shame can actually be at times a very useful feeling. Shame, when you feel shame about something, it indicates that you're doing something wrong. You're doing something immoral. Like if you have lied, if you've cheated, if you know, even down to this term slut shaming, they're like, you should never slut shame. A woman should never feel guilty about how many men she slept with. Well, actually, promiscuity is not a good thing. It's not a good thing. It's not good for you. It's it's not good for anybody, especially not good for you. So maybe it is it is a good thing to feel shame if you're doing like OnlyFans and if you have a very sexually promiscuous life. Like shame is not a bad thing. Ladies, how would you like to lose 10 pounds or more in 10 weeks? Come join my group coaching program called Fit and Lean, where I help hundreds of women finally get the results they're looking for, even if they've been frustrated with their weight loss process so far. I help you with nutrition, workouts, lifestyle habits. You get a sample meal plan, a recipe book, a workout plan, and of course, a weekly group coaching call with me and constant communication with me online. I help you figure out what to eat, what kind of workouts to do. And if you have been frustrated with the process so far and you're confused about what to do, what to eat and how to make it all happen, this group is the place for you. This challenge has produced so many amazing results uh, for women for all ages, 20s, 30s, 40s, and even 50s and 60s. So come join us. The link is in the description in the show notes. Just click on it and you'll find more information about this program. It's really a great way to get ready for maybe you have an event coming up or a wedding or a graduation, whatever it might be. There's nothing wrong with wanting to look better and feel better and there's nothing wrong with with wanting to lose weight and um, and change your physique a little bit. And that's what this program is all about. We give you tools to get sustainable results. So not only do you get the weight loss in the amount of time that you're in the group, but you also get to keep the weight off and we teach you how to keep those sustainable results for the rest of the year and for the rest of your life. So come join us. It's a fantastic group and you're going to lose 10 pounds in 10 weeks. There are many times where shame can actually be a very, a very useful feeling. And if you are someone who's like 300 pounds and you are gorging yourself on junk food all the time and you're not eating well, you're not taking care of your body, it's okay to feel shame about that because you shouldn't feel good about it. You should feel shameful that you would mistreat your body in that way. Just like a drug addict should feel shame about mistreating their body with these drugs and with alcohol and abuse, whatever. Just like someone who is addicted to gambling should feel shame. But for some reason, when it comes to obesity in particular, like most of society has recognized many times before that if you are some sort of drug addict or a gambling addict, you should feel shame and it's okay. And you should go to a 12 step program and try to fix it. But for some reason, our society does not feel the way about obesity. We're like, never feel shame if you're 300, 400 pounds. 
Why not? Why, why would, sh why shouldn't somebody feel shame for mistreating themselves? So I don't know if, I don't know if Lizzo has been motivated to make these changes after seeing the South Park episode or just the avalanche of comments about her body that just keep coming year after year. But I know for sure I could, I bet money on it. I know for sure one factor in her weight loss is just the fact that she's probably hasn't been feeling very good when you're very overweight you don't feel good. You can only be fat for so long before you realize that it sucks. Like it does not feel good. You wake up in the morning and your joints hurt and you're constantly tired and you're sluggish because yes, of course, obesity affects your cognitive function and the way that your brain works. Of course, obesity affects everything from your sex drive to the way that you feel in the morning to your mood to your menstrual cycle, it affects everything. So I know for sure that Lizzo probably got to the point where she just said to herself, I'm not actually feeling that great because I'm very unhealthy. And Lizzo is a performer. She's probably busy performing. I don't know when the last time is she was on tour, but I think it was recently. I don't know. It, it takes a lot of energy and stamina to be on that stage for multiple hours. So she probably just got to the point where she realized that, she, hey, you know what? I feel better if I eat a little better and if I work out regularly. And that has resulted in some weight loss. So I don't know if it's the fat shaming and the bullying that works. That's everybody's question. That may be part of it. Because if somebody is, if you have many people, and especially if you're famous, if you have thousands, if not millions of people who are commenting on how overweight you are and how you look and how you could look better, at some point, that's probably going to get into your head. And you're probably going to think to yourself, huh, maybe, maybe I could look better. Maybe I could lose a little bit of weight. So maybe she'll have a transformation like Adele. Do you guys remember what Adele used to look like? Maybe I should pull up a before and after because Adele looks incredible, particularly compared to how she looked before. I mean, check out, let me look at this photo at the very beginning there. Look how, look at what she looked like. And then even the middle photo had some really nice weight loss. And then this most recent photo here, I mean, she looks amazing. And I don't know how she did it. Who knows? Maybe she took some Ozempic. I don't know. But when you're in Hollywood and you're at that level of fame and success, you've got a lot of resources. I mean, I honestly, like my mom used to always tell me when we would, because we lived in the South. I grew up in South Georgia, a very small town. And, you know, in the South, there are more overweight people. And my mom would, she would always kind of joke with me, but not really joking. She would say, there's, if you're rich, we were just talking about like, why people are fat. And she just kind of got on the subject of like, if you're rich, there's really no reason for you to be overweight because you have access to so many resources. Like I had a friend in college, his uncle was very wealthy and he was like struggling with eating habits and just overeating. He literally hired a nutritionist to sit with him at his house every time he ate and to like watch him eat and to like coach him on what he was eating to make sure he didn't overeat. So like when you're rich, you have all the resources. So I don't know how Adele lost the weight. Who knows? And maybe Lizzo will have that kind of transformation. I don't know. But when people say, oh, you're so mean to Lizzo. Why are you always commenting on her body? Mind your own business. I always point them to what Adele used to look like and what people used to say about Adele. Because when Adele was obese, I do not remember seeing hardly any comments about her weight. People were not making fun of her. They were not commenting on her body. Why? Because she was not flaunting it online for the whole world to see. Lizzo has always been half naked online. She we post these videos of herself walking into a private jet with her bare butt hanging out. She goes to basketball games with, you know, half naked, her butt literally hanging out. She posts naked photos and videos on her Instagram with like just her private parts barely covered so she doesn't get the, you know, accused of putting nudity online or whatever, even though it is nudity. She's always showing her body. So that's the difference between Lizzo and Adele when Adele was overweight is that I never remember people commenting on Adele because she was not online flaunting her body 24 seven. She was just showcasing her incredible talents, her incredible musical talents. And even if you don't like Lizzo, she's talented. She's talented. And if she just focus on her talents and just display her talents rather than her obese body 24 seven, then maybe people wouldn't be commenting on her body the way that they have been over the last couple of years. I was even re remembering Susan Boyle. She was that one of the most famous first X Factor winners. I don't know if she was a winner, but she was definitely a contestant where she's just a very homely, overweight looking British woman. She came on stage, had the most beautiful opera voice ever, and she rose to fame very quickly. I don't remember anybody online talking about her body. 
And what she looked like, again, because she wasn't online, she wasn't in front of cameras flaunting her body. She was just displaying her musical talents. And that's not what Lizzo has been doing. She has been online displaying her body, probably more than her musical talents these days. So who knows? Maybe she has had a change of heart. But I do know for sure that she finally got to the point where she realizes that being very overweight does not feel good. I used to be 50 pounds overweight. And I think it was like 2016, horrible year, one of the worst years of my life. And I let the stress get to me. And I was, you know, probably struggling with depression, whatever. I gained 50 pounds. I was disgusting. I don't even think I have photos of myself at my heaviest. And it does not feel good. You, f you get to a point where you're like, I cannot live like this anymore. That's one of the reasons I love to help women lose weight because I want to help you feel your best. Especially moms, if you've got young kids running around, like you don't want to feel sluggish and, and you don't want to have brain fog and, and also feel really insecure and horrible about the way you look. You want to feel confident. You want to feel energetic. And that's, to me, one of the best parts about losing weight is that you just feel your best and you can function way better. So look, I'm rooting for her to lose weight. I don't like her. I'm not a big fan of her music. I don't, I definitely don't like any of her politics, but I want her to be healthy. I hope that she has an Adele type of transformation. And remember how mad the internet was at Adele for losing weight? Like, oh, the audacity of Adele losing weight. How dare you? You used to be a body positive icon to me. How dare you get healthy and lose weight? I hope that happens to Lizzo too. I hope, that, wouldn't that be so nice? The body positive fat acceptance people would have a stroke if they saw Lizzo lose as much weight as Adele did. They would absolutely lose their minds. And I hope it happens because... Being that obese, nothing good comes out of it. You're going to feel horrible and you're probably shortening your life and significantly increasing your likelihood to develop some kind of chronic disease that's going to ruin the quality of your life. So if you're struggling with your health, you don't have to. There is a different way. And if you're a woman who wants to join my health group and you want some guidance on weight loss, diet, nutrition, we talk a lot about hormonal health, join us. September, we're doing a great core challenge. I do a health challenge every month of my group. So we're doing a great core challenge in September. In October, we're doing a gut health challenge. Lots of good stuff coming up. So, all right. Let me know what you guys think about Lizzo. Lizzo, Lizzo, Lizzo. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye.